What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing Around. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more fishing content. In the last video we were out fishing the method feeder and I mentioned that I make my own ground bait at home called my mystery three ingredient ground bait mix. So today we're going to have a little look at how I prepare that, what you'll need and how to store it. This is something that I make myself out of stuff that I've just got lying around. It, it's free or extremely cheap. You've probably got the stuff in your cupboards to do it already. And it's caught me a lot of fish. I use it on the method feeder. I use it for the cage feeder. I use it balled up just as general ground bait. Let's get into it. Okay, so you're gonna need something to put the ground bait in when you finish making it. I'm using this plastic takeaway container. The first ingredient to the ground bait is Weetabix. It's cheap, free for me because we've got it in the cereal cupboard anyway. Um, but it costs pennies. The second ingredient is just normal white bread. I use stale bread that's gone past its best. We weren't going to eat it anyway, it's just been left in the bread bin, so I use that. And the third ingredient is a mystery ingredient, and we will go into that a little bit later. You're going to need something to blend all this up with, and I use this Link Chef blender that I got from Amazon. I'm not sponsored, I'm sure there's many different kinds available, but what I do like about it is that it's got those dual blades. I have been through kind of mini choppers and stuff before, and they've not really been up to the job, so this one is brilliant for that kind of thing. Okay, so let's get on with it. In goes the sliced white bread to start. As I've said, this bread is past its best, it's a bit stale. Um, the blender is relatively compact, it's only got like a one litre bowl, but what I like about it is it does have the power to kind of chop through that stale bread. <laughs> Liquidised white bread is a classic angler's bait. It's deadly all year round. The fish absolutely love it. Probably 99% of the places that you are going to go and fish, fish in those places are well accustomed to the smell and the taste of white bread. In terms of ratio, it makes up about half of the mix. Now that we've got some bread in there as a bit of a base, let's have a look at the Weetabix next. In the ground bait mix, the Weetabix has two jobs. The first job is as a flavoring. The fish seem to quite like it, it's a bit different. Um, the second job is it acts as a bit of a binding agent. I used to use porridge oats, but if you add too much water, they go a bit gluey, whereas I find the Weetabix is a bit more forgiving. I only ever add three, maximum four Weetabix biscuits to the mix. There's not a lot at all, as you can see. And yeah, as I said, it, I've always got it in the cupboard. It costs pennies. Before we move on to the secret ingredient, let's do the rest of the white bread. I've had to go and get a bigger tub because I've misjudged the amount that I'd have. Um, excuse the sweetie tub, this is just something we had lying around and I've kind of adopted it for holding ground bait. It fits perfectly in the bottom shelf of the freezer and I find that if I fill that tub up I get about three or four day sessions uh, on the method feeder out of this mix. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. If you have, please remember to leave us a like and a comment and please subscribe, it really does help us out. We've done the white bread and we've done the Weetabix, so let's have a look at what the mystery third ingredient to this three ingredient ground bait mix is. It's biscuits. These are the soft remains of biscuits that have been left in the biscuit tin um, or the crumbs or the broken ones that have fallen to the bottom that nobody wants. So I regularly harvest those and collect them in this bag. And when we've got enough, we make up the mix. Biscuit as a flavor is a classic bait. Uh, it's sugary, it's salty, it's that shortening taste. And then depending on the variety of biscuits you're eating, it might be vanilla or jammy, um, 
so lots and lots of attractant there it does tend to kind of crumb up really well like bread but also it will cloud through the water you'll get a lot of attractant out of it um, and like I said because I harvest it from the bottom of the biscuit tin you're a busy household there's always plenty left over that nobody wants that have just gone a bit past their best so um, lots for me to harvest and I've got a regular supply of them um, like I said this is just the way I do it it might not be applicable to you but hopefully you get some use out of uh, seeing how I do it so what I'm going to do is blend up the rest of these and then we're gonna um, have a little talk about how I mix it up and how I store it No fancy tools or surprises on this one guys, uh, it's a good old get your hands in there and, and give it a good mix round. Um, you want to ensure that it really is very thoroughly mixed, there's nothing worse than getting to the bank, opening up your bait tub and finding that you've got a bait tub full of white bread with a little bit of wheat to mix or biscuit in it. Uh, you really want to thoroughly, thoroughly mix it, I uh, can't stress that enough. Like I said earlier, this tub will get you probably three or four good day sessions on the method feeder or uh, if you're using a cage feeder on the cage feeder as far as storing the ground bait goes I keep it in the freezer and it's perfectly fine uh, what I do is I take it out the night before I'm going fishing and then I decant what I need out of the tub into my bait bucket and I put the rest back in the freezer. I think what you have to remember is that bread does hold moisture anyway naturally and I think by freezing it you're adding more, you're certainly not taking any away. Um, so when you get to the bank with this kind of mix, um, as opposed to a traditional method feeder mix, that where, where you're adding I mean you don't add a lot of water anyway to be honest but you really do not need a lot of water with a bread based mix um, so bear that in mind do not put a lot of uh, water in because it will go all sloppy um, you can always put more in but you can't take it out so I'm going to go ahead and carry on mixing this I'm going to give it a good shake round just make sure it's all even and then I'm going to smash that in the freezer and job done thanks for watching guys see you again